Hey, this is Richard from Blender Grid and in this video I'm going to show you how you can render a smoke simulation on Blender Grid. Um, and the tricky part is the baking and the smoke cache. So let's look at this uh, blend file that I have here. It's called smoke.blend. It's saved to my desktop and there is a smoke simulation in here but it's not baked yet. And if we hit the space bar, we will play this back and it will start kind of baking on the fly. And you can see a little bit of smoke. Um, and what this does as well is, as you see, um, right next to my blend file, it adds a blend cache underscore smoke folder. And this folder is always called blend cache underscore and then the name of your blend file. In, in my case, it's smoke. So this folder contains 100 items um, and it is kind of like one item per frame. So as you can see, my frame range is set to 100 frames. So that makes sense. Um, and you might think that this is enough to start rendering the smoke and it on your own computer it is because Blender just uh, when it misses a a uh, cache file it just runs it on the fly however it is not really baked yet and um, let's just take a look at what happens when we just upload this blend file you see it uploads we're checking the scene and as you can see we have some warnings um, we have an unbaked smoke simulation and uh, we get some details here. So when we rent, when we ignore this warning and we render it, we won't see the smoke. So that's an issue. And let's go back. Um, the way this, the the reason why this happens, uh, this warning is, we only uploaded the blend file and we didn't upload the baked smoke. So you might think if we just select both files and uh, compress this into a zip file and then we go ahead let's remove this then we just upload our zip file and we start checking the scene then again we get a warning about an unbaked smoke simulation uh, while we did include the blend cache now why is this well we we do have the, the blend cache and we do have all the files we need, but Blender still considers this simulation as not baked. So let's select our domain, go into the settings, and um, here we have the smoke settings. As you can see, we have a cache, uh, this, this cache section, and there's a button called bake and it's still enabled so that means we haven't really baked the simulation yet so let's do that and since I only use 100 frames I can set the end frame here to 100 to match my animation frame range and then we can hit bake and it will run through the simulation again and uh, now as you can see if you look close to the timeline you see when the domain is selected, you see this dark gray area here. That means this, um, this dark gray part of the timeline is all baked. Um, and uh, that means it's, uh, it's baked properly. So what I can do now is save the blend file. And uh, I'm gonna remove my old archive uh, so when we save the blend file, it also creates a blend one file. We don't really need that. So I'm going to select the blend file and the blend cache smoke. And just to double check, I'm going to see if we have all our items. And it looks good. We have 100 items in here. So let's select the blend file and the cache file, uh, the cache folder, and uh, compress this again into a zip file. And now. Let's remove this old project. Now when we upload the archive, 
it will take a little bit longer because uh, we have all these uh, cache files in there. But now when we check the scene, we should end up without any warnings. And now you can see we don't have any warnings and this, uh, this smoke scene is ready to be rendered properly. So to recap, if you see warnings about an unbaked smoke simulation, you want to make sure that um, the smoke in Blender is properly baked with uh, in the in the domain settings with the cache. You want to make sure uh, the this is properly baked. Uh, the default settings are fine. Use library path just means that it uses. Uh, the location of your blend file and adds this blend cache uh, folder next to it, which is fine. And um, you want to make sure this is properly baked. The timeline is gray or dark gray. If you've done that, save the blend file and make sure you also include this blend cache um, folder in the zip file that you upload. If you do those two things, the bake and a proper zip file with the smoke cache, then everything will be fine.